to show you how you can create um, MIDI effects or instruments and MIDI effects inside a drum rack and create really interesting stuff. Um, let us rebuild a few of the things I created in the example set. So first um, I'm going to open up a new MIDI track and then I'm going to drag and drop uh, an empty drum rack onto the MIDI track. Now I'm going to locate the pad I want to use. So for example my Tom 1, which is a C2. So I'm now um, just going to drag and drop the sound I want to have, which is called Red Arlet. It's a preset from Ableton. I have to go into my instruments and here's the preset Red Arlet. I'm going to drag and drop it into my C2 and I'm now going to get the sound um, played but I need a few MIDI effects as well to make it sound really cool. So um, first thing I'm going to need is a longer note. So I'm going to pick the MIDI effect um, note length. Gonna change the node value, the length to uh, th around three and a half seconds. Um, maybe I want the node uh, a little bit um, down, so um, pitch it a little bit down. So I'm gonna add a pitch as well and go to minus three semitones. Um, and now I want not only one note from this pad, I want more notes. So I'm going to put in a random. And because I want four notes playing uh, in semitones going up, I'm going to put up the chance to 100, put the choices down to four. And because I want not play them randomly, I want to play them in a cycle, I'm going to go to the mode Alt. And now um, I get four tones, another tone by every hit on my pad. And as you can hear, obviously um, the pad is uh, velocity sensitive, so the sound is as well. So if I want to change the velocity as well, um, I could add a velocity uh, MIDI effect as well. <laughs> 